Hi, uh, I hope this is kind of working. It's kind of a weird selfie thing, but I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, show you the uh, pictures so I can talk about this a little bit. Wonderful building, old building, funky building. I, I really wanted to develop something that, um, of course, you're the theater, so it's got to be dramatic. Something iconic, dramatic. That's not only happening with the wall, but with the um, entire building. This is the focal point wall, as far as I'm concerned. You can see it from a great distance. You can see the full wall. So I, when I got back here, I really started playing with some models. I'm going to open this wall up and, and, and push something through that, from a great distance, even a long distance, has a very iconic, dramatic uh, thing happening. One of the things that came up for me, this is a, one of the early models that I, I built, was this idea of theater in the round. And how can I play with that with a public art forum and, and, and metaphoric? How am I going to take the theater in the round and symbolize it uh, with an iconic thing that translates to a powerful uh, 3D illusion? The orb is definitely the st thing I've been playing with the most. I've been going back and forth with this for quite a while with how do I get this iconic thing that's happening uh, and, 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 and present the idea of the theater um, in, a, in a piece like this. So I start playing with that and pushing it through the paper there to get ideas of shadows and how it would work. Here's um, this theater in the round inside this really jewel-like sphere, not quite as, <clears throat> opaque or blue is that last image um, <clears throat> but and this is going to take some explaining because this this is going to take the mural process and and taking pictures uh, and working with the theater to taking pictures of a play going on from a, an aerial view because this this back wall here this is a scene from a play and that that's kind of the main thing is and it's on the back part of the glass they're kind of defying gravity they're staying up toward us so that's happening on the outside of the glass <clears throat> other things are going on too let me go ahead and move forward with some of this stuff um, the glass thing th this is a, from a small painting I did but I, I, I love as an artist playing with all the things that are happening with a, a glass sphere in this case you can see the the rare, the bending and the rare fraction of what's going on behind it. You can see the reflections going on. And with this piece, there's so much more and there's so much more room to, to do it in too. I like the idea too of uh, having some of the blue that's already out there. Maybe it's not quite as warm. It could repaint it so it looks like it's 15 years old and not uh, 30 years old. Uh, maybe with some of the uh, imagery of the blueprints too. It doesn't have to be a strong layer, but a subtle layer that someone who's been going to this theater for a long time will say, oh yeah, there's the blueprints. It's a, another layer in the story here, the concept, uh, an important layer, but not uh, an overpowering layer. The main thing is the theater going on inside this glass, the fun narratives and simultaneous narratives that are going on at the same time. Here you can see at least one guy on the outside here. I love this color theme too because we got this blue, we got this yellow, and we got this reddish brick. Uh, triadic color themes create joy in the viewer. There's psychological things that happen with different color combinations and this is a great one to create a lot of um, uh, wonder and happiness with the viewer. Also you'll notice up here at the top that this piece is breaking the picture plane just a little bit. I think I might have shown that to you in my presentation with a little bit of architectural foam. By pushing that edge of the picture plane up a little bit, you really start messing with the whole building, not just inside the wall. And I think this, I, I'm not just saying this, I think this is the makings for the strongest broken wall, uh, manipulated wall illusion that I've ever created. It's not just inside the wall, but it's outside and it's going around the corner. So when I started looking at this side, uh, you really can't see that much over here to the left. But I think if you just deal with the edge, something really dramatic on the edge, it's, it's kind of like a secondary powerful mural. And this concept, I played with these concepts in the past 
and you can um, I, these have never been actualized but they're, they are my concepts and especially this right one you can see inside the motel or hotel rooms and intimate things that might be going on all of a sudden we've got this peek into a very personal space this is kind of the uh, idea behind um, this uh, uh, illusion where we're rolling back the wall again breaking the picture plane rolling back the wall here because because we're breaking that picture plane it really feels like we're removing this corner of the building a very dramatic presentation of the corner of the building and we still can keep the the neon sign there with the lettering it, it'll all just be very dynamic and fun and uh, revealing we've got a viewer down here and the viewers somehow um, being alerted to what's going on up there frightened actresses and actors in their dressing room they were they were getting dressed or whatever they were doing and all of a sudden this thing opened and they're they're very alerted it's it's a happening it's an anomaly let me move in a little bit here you can see the lighting going on inside here uh, it doesn't have to tell a giant story but there's definitely a theater and this thing's being ripped away I think it's very dynamic and I like the idea of the layers and the way that we're dealing with the whole building very fun powerful piece that from a distance is very dynamic and dramatic um, you can't miss this thing from a distance but it also has the power within it this bringing the theater to the outside world this theater in the round has uh, it'll have obviously these things going on inside of it maybe a, a, a total of 10 or so people um, you'll see that right off the bat after the first impact and it demands investigation and demands these discovery layers whereas you get closer you can see that this is William Shakespeare you can see that this is a particular play a fun chair here or there someone walking or the stroller like I showed you could be on the side very playful lots of things to discover fun witty things within it I'm very excited about this. I think this could be one of the most powerful pieces I've ever done, and I hope you're as excited as I am about this.